What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 video. Now today I'm going to be discussing something very sad, so if you're if you're the type to get easily upset, uh, I suggest you click off the video. We're going to be discussing the tragedy of Tapu Bulu. Now, Tapu Bulu was one of the most powerful Pokemon in the Sun and Moon metagames, whether it be, uh, what was it called, Series, not Series 7, but uh, 2017 through 2018, it saw heavy usage as the only grassy terrain setter uh, with the ability Grassy Surge, so that was really cool. Uh, being Fairy Grass was interesting in the fact that it was weak to some new Pokemon like Nihiligo. Uh, however, because it was the only, you know, Pokemon with this ability, Grassy Surge, it was able to uh, overcome those weaknesses by having proper partners. There was a very popular core in 2017 called the Ban Core, which was Bulu, Arcanine, Nihiligo, and it was very effective. However, in Sword and Shield, uh, Tapu Bulu has seen a heavy decline in popularity, and in this video I'm going to be discussing why that is, and possibly finding some kind of niche for Tapu Bulu. I'm not certain how successful I'll be, but with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys enjoyed this at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I'm bringing you guys some daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And do me a favor, comment down below what your favorite thing about Rillaboom or Tapu Bulu is. Which one you like better and like why you like it better. I think a lot of people will be arguing for Rillaboom, uh, and that's mainly because this video is discussing why Rillaboom might be objectively a better Tapu Bulu. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So Tapu Bulu, stat-wise, is really cool. It's got 70 HP, 130 attack, 115 defense, 85 special attack, 95 special defense, and 75 speed. This guy was a very powerful Pokemon, and the only thing that was really missing was physical fairy stab. The move that obviously comes to mind is play rough. Now, Leaks had discussed Tapu Bulu and Tapu Koko possibly getting access to play rough, and unfortunately, neither of them did, which was a huge spit in the face, considering... Let me, let me show you something really sad. Let me show you the, the saddest thing about this. Right there. Tapu Fini got play rough. You know who else did? Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele also got play rough. This is the saddest thing. The saddest thing is that the two special attacking fairies got access to play rough, while the two physical attacking fairies, who would not have been busted with play rough in my opinion, did not get access to them. Uh, Tapu Bulu also, along with the other Tapus, did not get access to those brand new terrain based moves, Grassy Glide, uh, Rising Voltage, uh, Expanding Force, Misty Explosion, none of the Tapus got their respective moves. Uh, so they ended up just with their basic tools and maybe a couple of other buffs. For example, Tapu Bulu, he got access to Close Combat, which is pretty much just a better superpower. Tapu Bulu in previous formats, in 2018 in particular, it was known for bulking up and then clicking superpower. I raise my attack, I lower my attack, that sort of thing. Uh, so this allows him to circumvent the attack drop if you decide to run a bulk up set. However, Tapu Bulu struggles to find a place in the format for a couple of reasons. And one of the things that is most prominent, the reason that you can't run it, is because Rillaboom gives it really, really big run for its money. It's a huge run for its money. So let, let me go over the merits of Rillaboom. Rillaboom has a similar stat spread as we can see, so 100 HP, 125 attack, 70 HP, 130 attack, Tapu Bulu slightly stronger, uh, 90 defense, 115 defense, Tapu Bulu slightly bulkier on the physical side I believe, uh, but Rillaboom slightly bulkier overall maybe? No. Tapu Bulu is just slightly bulkier. However, Rillaboom is faster with 85 speed and Tapu Bulu at 75 speed. And Tapu Bulu, while it can function under Trick Room with its middling speed, it's more likely to be a fast Pokemon. We saw some people running like Tailwind Bulu as well as Choice Scarf Bulu. Uh, so it was able to, you know, boost its speed by partner Tailwinds or maybe an Icy Wind supporter or even just Choice Scarfing it. It's all success. However, uh, Rillaboom just has naturally higher speed. 85 is a pretty good tier. Along with that, it has access to Fake Out, which is one of the most important tools in VGC being able to on lead flinch something and the most important difference between these two guys I think Tapu Bulu would have had a place in the format if it got access to this move Grassy Glide. Grassy Glide is a 70 base power move which in grassy terrain not only gets the power boost from the terrain but also is plus one priority. That is a huge shame because this guy would have had one of the strongest Grassy Glides in the game. 130 attack that's disgusting. So, yeah, Tapu Bulu missed out on that. Um, along with that, Rillaboom just has access to different tools. It has access to Darkest Lairette, which I think Tapu Bulu might get. I'm probably wrong. It does get that. It does get that. Um, but essentially, the difference is Rillaboom has less weaknesses, and 
just overall more tools to it. Like, look at all the things that Rillaboom can do just slightly better than Tapu Bulu. Even if you tried to find a very, very, like, strange niche, if you wanted to run, like, Assault Vest, Snarl, Tapu Bulu, you know who does that better? Rillaboom. Rillaboom also gets Snarl. It seems that Rillaboom just gets every tool that Tapu Bulu does, but just a little more, just a little bit more in terms of tools, because he also gets U-turn, he gets Taunt just like Tapu Bulu, where Tapu Bulu does not get U-turn. Uh, they both get Bulk Up, they both get Swords Dance. Rillaboom has more options in fighting moves, and it also has access to Knock Off. So it has a lot of things going for it, that's that's the main thing. And on top of that, if you wanted to run like Weakness Policy, Max Airstream, Tapu Bulu as maybe a way to salvage it just a little bit, it doesn't get a flying move. Meanwhile, Monkey over here can go stupid with acrobatics, it's it's so annoying. Uh, so yeah, Rillaboom, a very strong Pokemon. The standard set you really see on it is like Grassy Glide, Fake Out, Wood Hammer, and the last move could be a couple of things. It could be Knock Off, it could be High Horsepower, it's, it's usually High Horsepower to help it deal with Nihiligo if need be. Uh, and this is the most popular spread on Picolytics right now. So yeah, that's that's Rillaboom in a nutshell. Tapu Bulu has a couple of tools that Rillaboom does not, but they're so niche and almost not useful uh, that it's it's kind of strange. Like he gets access to Disable. He just got access to Close Combat. He has Dazzling Gleam. He has Nature's Madness. He has Dual Screens, um, Whirlwind, a lot of things that just aren't too useful in VGC, especially Tapu Bulu. Like, Dual Screens are great, right? Dual Screens are great tools. However, Tapu Bulu Speed Tier is not one that really incentivizes using that. He gets Substitute Disable, I guess is interesting, Safeguard, Smart Strike. Like, there's just a lot of tools that he can't make great use of, and it's just sad to look at. The main difference between these two guys is Tapu Bulu gets Rock Coverage, and that is what I'm going to be basing my sort of salvaging Tapu Bulu set off of. Tapu Bulu has a couple of options in rock coverage. He has Rock Slide, he has Rock Tomb, and he has Stone Edge. This is the main difference between Rillaboom and Tapu Bulu. Rillaboom 100% of the time loses against flying types and loses against Charizard in particular, which is seeing a little bit of resurgence in the format with Sun coming back. Tapu Bulu has a fighting chance given the correct conditions are set up on the field, but we'll get back to that in a second. Another reason Tapu Bulu isn't really viable is that while Rillaboom might be able to survive a hit from Nihiligo Sludge Bomb. Tapu Bulu has absolutely no chance uh, unless you run like uh, Kaiba Berry or Kabia Berry. Uh, now, that's really disappointing because Nihiligo is one of the most popular Pokemon in the format right now, whether it be running the uh, Power Herb Meteor Beam set, which is absolutely devastating, or even just the Grassy Seed Trick Room, but also Fast Set. That is very strong. Nihiligo is a great Pokemon. It's seeing high usage overall. In fact, if we look at it, Nihiligo is on 7% of every team, which in the grand scheme of things, ranking it, it's it's pretty high up in usage. Where is it? It's right here. It's it's just below Celestela, uh, but above other things like Torkoal and Indeedee and Whimsicott. Like it's it's a decent part of the metagame. So that's pretty big. Um, we'll get back to that guy. But Moltres is another Pokemon that's seeing a lot of usage right now. Moltres is a Pokemon that Rillaboom has a chance to survive a hit from if it's like Dynamax. On top of that, one, one thing I need to mention is Rillaboom has a G-Max form with an absolutely devastating max move, 150 base power. Keep that in mind. Um, Moltres, if Rillaboom is running the Assault Vest set, Moltres might not be able to one-shot it, um, but it's still the fact that Moltres can one-shot Tapu Bulu. It's very common. Uh, it's a very powerful Pokemon. Real, uh, Tapu Bulu is weak to Metagross, where Rillaboom is not. Metagross is able to spam Max Steel Spike and just hard wall Tapu Bulu and one shot it. There are so many other things in the metagames that absolutely destroy it. Glacier is common, Incineroar is common, uh, Landorus now has access to Max Airstream, Kartana is common, Dusk, uh, Dusclops can burn it, Rotom Heat is more common than ever, Thunderous is now running a physical set, which means it can't get walled by Tapu Bulu. Tornadus is common, Mamoswine is seeing some heavy usage at the moment. There's a lot of things that just completely mess up Tapu Bulu that make it very difficult to use in the format. So how do we salvage Tapu Bulu? Well, that isn't that isn't a very easy answer. Like, there, there, that isn't a very easy question to answer. So, I have a concept Bulu, and it's going to be my goal this week. By the end of the week, I want to be able to build a team around Tapu Bulu and share it with the Patreons. Uh, but here, here is my concept Tapu Bulu. High horsepower, rock slide, protect, wood hammer. You could also swap it out for, you know, horn leech, but I think you get more out of wood hammer. Uh, it's a pure offensive Tapu Bulu, but he's running a Kabia Berry to allow it to take a sludge bomb from Tim and Nihiligo. 60 HP, 140 attack, 4 defense, 212 special defense, and 92 speed. Now let me go over what this does. 
here's the damage calc. I already had my Tapu Bulu loaded in. So let's go ahead and take a look at Nihiligo. So the, the main basis of this guy is that it's going to be a Tapu Bulu that can actually deal with fire types pretty effectively. Keep in mind, also, something to note, Tapu Bulu hard loses to Venusaur, which Rillaboom has a decent chance versus if he has, if he has the Assault Vest. So that's another thing to keep in mind. <laughs> so um, Tapu Bulu, this guy, versus Nihiligo. Timid Nihiligo, it's not usually running a life orb, it's usually like Grassy Seed or something, but uh, Timid Nihiligo cannot take a high horsepower from Tapu Bulu. It will always take at least 105% uh, if it's, you know, running 4 HP. If it Dynamaxes, and that, that's Dynamax, by the way, that is a Dynamax Nihiligo. If it's not Dynamax, it's taking well over that. So you can KO Dynamax Nihiligo with this Tapu Bulu without Dynamaxing yourself. If you decide to Dynamax yourself, you're going to be doing... A lot of damage. You're gonna be, be you're gonna be able to hit it with a max quake and absolutely one shot it. Um, on top of that, if Nihiligo is running a timid nature max special attack and you are not Dynamaxed, you're actually guaranteed to live the sludge bomb because you're running an adamant nature 60 HP, 212 special defense. That is a lot of special defense, but it allows it to do what it needs to do. Uh, it allows it to stay in on a Nihiligo under Trick Room if you're like running Tailwind and the Tapu Bulu is faster. It allows it to be able to uh, KO the Nihiligo under any condition you're able to 1v1 it. So that's really big. Another thing about this is I mentioned Thunderous is very common in the format right now. Uh, if we take a look at the common set, it's Jolly Life Orb or usually Lumberry actually. You see more Lumberry than anything, so we'll go with like not Life Orb calcs. So in this situation, you do have access to your max rock move. How it would go down is like this. The um, If you have a Tailwind up, I would assume you would always run this Tapu Bulu with Tailwind because of the speed tier. You hit 107 speed, it doubles to 214 speed Dragapult level. Uh, so you're able to Dynamax and outspeed the Thunderous, granted you have the Tailwind up, hit it with a max Rockfall doing 64% to 76%. The Thunderous will Dynamax and hit you with a max Airstream and actually do less than you would on average. Max Airstream is only going to be doing 59 to 70% because Tapu Bulu is very physically bulky, especially when you Dynamax it. Now, at plus one speed, I ran the calc, it's still slower than you if you have Tailwind up, which means you get to hit it again. So you 1v1 Dynamax Thunderous, granted uh, no other factors come into play, like uh, like an Intimidate on you would actually completely mess up this calc, so you have to be really careful with Intimidates. Uh, the sand damage would help you out, but keep that in mind. You're able to 1v1 Dynamax Thunderous, which is really big. And the main one, the main event here is the Charizard matchup, which again, run this thing with Tailwind if you want to run it. You are always going to beat Charizard. Max Rockfall versus Dynamax or Gigantamax Charizard, you're going to be able to do 119% minimum to it. And if you just decide to not Dynamax, go for a Tailwind Rock Slide, and this guy doesn't Dynamax, you're going to be doing 101% minimum to it. Like I said, Tapu Bulu does not want to be intimidated. It would mess up a lot of these calcs. However, this does allow Tapu Bulu to function in a format where all these Pokemon exist. That is the big thing. Like, yeah, Tapu Bulu is still gonna struggle against uh, Moltres. You're not gonna beat Moltres 1v1 because it's so bulky. You're not gonna beat Metagross 1v1. You're not gonna beat Glacier 1v1. However, it walls Urshifu. It's able to deal decent damage to Landorus. Uh, it beats Regieleki. It beats Tapu Fini. It's able to handle Rotom Heat, I believe. I actually haven't checked that one. Let me check the Rotom Heat calc. Let me actually, this, this one is some, this is, this one is uncharted, eh, uncharted territory. Uh, so overheat does 101 or 103% minimum without the Dynamax. If you Dynamax, um, let me think, they go for an overheat and then it's at minus two. So 61% minus two special attack, 31%. So you have a chance to live that, uh, a decent chance at that. Dynamaxed, uh, you're going to be not able to 1v1 the Rotom, but you're going to be doing significant damage. So that's something to note. Uh, you have a chance to two shot it. 35%. So yeah, like I said, there are things that it will never be able to beat and that's just the nature of Pokemon. But I think that this is a set that at least gives Tapu Bulu a chance within the format. I think it's really disappointing that Tapu Bulu is completely outclassed by Rillaboom. My, my whole philosophy with team building is I want to use underutilized Mons, but I don't want to force them onto a team. I don't want to shoehorn them onto a team where another Pokemon would be objectively better. Uh, I want them to find their own little niche. I want them to be able to do something that only they can do. Otherwise, it's just a suboptimal team. And the issue with Tapu Bulu is there are very few things that it can do that Rillaboom cannot. So that is that is the issue with Tapu Bulu. 
So yeah, uh, that's my concept for Bulu. That's why it doesn't really work in the format. That's the sad tragedy of Tapu Bulu. Let me know what you guys think about the comments uh, about it in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications because I bring you guys daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content. And with that, I'm going to call it guys. Have a nice night and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.